For this video, I want to build on a previous video I created on running a PyHole Docker container on a Synology NAS by adding a second Docker container running the validating, recursive, and caching DNS resolver Unbound. The main benefit you'll get from running Unbound is privacy. In the default state that the PyHole Docker container was left in the previous video, it used Google's public DNS servers that exposes your browsing history to an entity that could be capturing your data. Unbound eliminates the middleman and provides you less exposure to public upstream DNS providers like Google. If you aren't concerned about privacy, you could leave your PyHole setup as is, but adding Unbound is simple and straightforward, and I'll show you how to set everything up in this video. To learn more about Unbound and running Unbound in combination with PyHole, I'll leave a few links that you can refer to in the description below. To run Unbound along with PyHole, the first thing you should do is set up PyHole by going through the PyHole video that I mentioned earlier, which I'll link to in the description below as well. As you work your way through that video, you'll need to make a few changes, which I'll go through next. The first change is the Docker command to create the Mac VLAN network. You'll need to run a command like what I have listed here on screen, where instead of setting up a slash 32 subnet, you'll need to create a slash 30 subnet so you can have two assignable IP addresses that will be assigned to the PyHole and Unbound Docker containers respectively. I also chose a different IP address range and gave the Mac VLAN network a new name in this setup. I'll just run the command to set up the Mac VLAN network. When setting up the PyHole Docker container, almost everything remains the same, except in this new setup, I renamed the Mac VLAN network to pyhole-unbound-macvlan. Also, under environment, I won't set the server IP because I'll have the IP address assigned automatically to the Docker container. This defaults to the first IP address in the Mac VLAN network, which in my setup is 192.168.81.28. I can also confirm this by bringing up a browser window and connecting to the IP address, which brings up the PyHole Docker container as expected. Now let's set up Unbound by first downloading it from the Docker Hub, and for this video, I'll use the mvans Unbound Docker image, selecting the latest available image. Once downloaded, I'll select and launch the Unbound image to create a new Docker container. I'll rename the Docker container, then bring up Advanced Settings, and enable Auto Restart. The only other change that needs to be done is add the Docker container to the Mac VLAN network and remove it from the default bridge network. I'll then click Apply, then Next from the General Settings window, and finally Done to finish the setup and run the Unbound Docker container. I'll switch to a terminal session, and I can confirm that the Unbound Docker container is running by pinging the next available IP address on the Mac VLAN network, which is 192.168.81.29. Also, I'll do a name server lookup using the Unbound Docker container to confirm that it's working properly as well. To complete the setup and have PyHole make use of Unbound, I'll need to log into the PyHole web interface Click on Settings, then go to DNS, and uncheck the boxes that enable Google as the upstream DNS servers. Next, I'll enable the Custom 1 upstream DNS server and enter in the IP address of the Unbound Docker container and click Save. At this point, you should be able to manually assign the PyHole IP address to your individual computers or, at the network level, Update your DHCP server to dynamically assign the PyHole IP address to the DHCP clients on your network. As an example, for this video, I'll update my WireGuard configuration, which I'm already connected to, to make use of the PyHole and Unbound setup while connected to the VPN. I'll do that by clicking Edit and updating the DNS entry with the PyHole Mac VLAN IP address, and click Save, which automatically reconnects me to the WireGuard VPN with the new configuration. Now I'll just reload a few websites to make sure I'm doing some name server lookups using the new PyHole and Unbound setup. Then I'll bring up the PyHole dashboard and we can see that it's already blocking domains and using Unbound as the upstream DNS server. 
adding Unbound to Pi-hole running on a Synology NAS adds additional privacy to your web browsing experience and hopefully this video helped you in setting things up in your network and make sure to like this video if it did. Also consider subscribing to this channel and if you have the means, support my work by buying me a coffee. The link is in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.